Stitch number 12 is a gathering stitch. And I'm gonna show you how you can use cord, stitch over it, and have the cord pull the fabric into a gathered position. You'll see by the bite, uh, it bites a little to the right, little to the left. And so what we're gonna do, we'll select stitch number, number 12. Take a piece of cord, double it in half so it's, it's still as long as your fabric that you wanna gather. I'm gonna go ahead and just tuck it underneath my presser foot and kind of separate it a little bit. So it's gonna kind of come off to the side here as I start to stitch. What I wanna have is I need the stitch to catch each cord as it bounces to each side. So it's, it has a stitch that goes right down the middle. And as I kind of just hold this to kind of hug up against the right and left toe of the foot, that will help guide it. Now I will tell you, there are Bernina pin tuck feet and also Bernina buttonhole foot that's a manual one that is foot number three that you can purchase separately for this machine. And they both have grooves down the, the bottom of the foot. And all you have to do is just lay these cords in the grooves and it, the foot just guides these for you. But if you just kind of hold them as you go, you're gonna see that the stitch is catching both sides of the cord all the way down. Now the reason we double it, and we start at the doubled side and end at the opened ends, is because at the side over here, when we pull, that is gonna make sure that these don't come through the stitching area. Ready? We're just gonna give it a little pull, and now we can gather. This is great because when you have a nice thick cord and heavy fabric, it's gonna really help stabilize the gathered area. There you go. Now, I enjoy using a Bernina Ruffler or a Bernina Gathering Foot number 16, and you can watch our videos on those feet to see how much easier it is. But if you don't have those feet, the Gathering Stitch is the one you wanna use.